Hey everyone, Cody here, and welcome back. I've got another Pollock style painting for you today. I've been getting a lot of requests for the Pollock style, and at first I didn't want to do it, but then I figured, you know what, if people want to see it, why not? So I'll probably actually do some more Pollock style paintings uh, in the future, because I've actually got some strips of canvas cut, kind of like this one. Uh, so I will, I probably will do some more of these. It actually was kind of fun to do one. I haven't done one like a true kind of big one like this in a while. Uh, so, you know, kind of had fun with it. Now, I need to talk about this painting for a couple of reasons because uh, I made some mistakes on it. So the next one, um, I will try to not make those mistakes. The first thing is, is these rocks that you see on the canvas. I put them too much on the canvas. So when I painted this and I moved the rocks away, there was these big sections where there was no paint. Um, I think next time what I need to do is just tape the painting down to the ground so that it doesn't move. But also there's not these big sections of missing paint in the end because it looks kind of tacky afterwards. Now. Sure, you might wrap the painting around a frame and, it, you know, you're not going to necessarily see most of that edge. But at the same time, it, it looked a little weird. So uh, next time I'll either just move the rocks to the very edges of the canvas or I'll just tape it down. I'll probably try taping it down and kind of see how like you know, where that gets me. Uh, the second thing is, is I didn't use enough black on the first layer. So, you know, sure, this is my own painting and everything. You know, I'm, I'm not Pollock, so I can kind of take put my own spin on it. But um, I didn't, yeah, I didn't put enough black on the bottom layer. Um, ha I generally do start with black almost every time when I make one of these types of paintings. Only because the black kind of creates like a framework almost, at least for me. So it creates like this framework that you can kind of work off of. So it's like you've got the raw canvas and then you've got this layer of black that kind of frames it all. And then from there you can add, you know, white or whatever colors you want to, to really make the painting pop after that. So I didn't put enough black on the bottom layer. Um, so I, you know, I feel like it just didn't, it kind of didn't make that, that framework. Uh, another thing is, is I, you know, I didn't let the layers dry in between. So I wanted to make this video and show you guys and I didn't have a lot of time. So I went ahead and just, just made the whole painting in one shot. Uh, I think probably on the next one or one of the next few, cause I'll, I'll probably be doing a couple of these in the future. Um, I will actually leave some, like some time in between the layers to let them dry so that when I go over them, they don't mix. Now the, the only issue is that like, you know, it's fine and everything, but the problem is, is that when I throw one layer on top of another, then they start to bleed and you don't get the distinct layers. And it's kind of an interesting effect. It kind of looks kind of cool, but at the same time I hate it. So just, that's just me personally in making these paintings. I just don't like, uh, the layers to bleed. But again, I didn't have a lot of time to do this. I just kind of wanted to do it for fun. Um, so yeah, there's that, you know, I didn't use enough black to begin with. I didn't let the dry layers dry. Also, there's too much. I feel like there's too much variation, uh, between the colors. So again, of course, this is my own painting. It's not Pollock's, but if I were to keep Pollock's, you know, kind of style, as the baseline, uh, he used a lot more black and white, pretty much in all of his all of his drip paintings. So I feel like I didn't use enough black and white. Uh, but again, because it was starting to like the layers were starting to mix, and as opposed to to stack, um, those colors were starting to run together. That's why you don't really see the white here when I'm throwing the white on because it's it's kind of absorbing into these other puddles of color. So that's, uh, that's why you don't see it. Lastly, I, I didn't use enough paint, 
Um, it sounds kind of funny because there's quite a bit of paint on there, but I didn't use enough. So the painting is actually lacking paint, um, mostly black and white, because I should have put more on the bottom to create that that stack, you know. Um, so that's that's just another issue. It's just I just didn't use enough paint, uh, enough black and white on the initial layers. The last thing is that I uh, Pollock used linen canvas, not cotton. This is cotton. Linen tends to be like th uh, about three times the price of cotton for, for good linen. Um, I'll probably still continue to use cotton just because I don't have the money to to buy linen right now. <laughs> and I'm just doing these for fun. So anyway, that's pretty much it for that, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will be doing more of these, um, but I'll be doing other paintings in the meantime as well. So hope you enjoyed this oh, timer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will catch you guys in another one. You guys take care and God bless. Bye guys.